Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another Apex Legends video. So a couple days ago, I ended up putting out a video that was basically an easy guide for a 20 bomb. And I've gotten a couple questions on how to get a 4k badge. And honestly, that might be a little bit harder than a 20 bomb. But if you follow these tips that I'm about to give you, you're going to get it so easily. It can be really easy as soon as like you know what you're doing and you just really just go out there and you don't really try for it, but like you have it in the back of your mind, you'll definitely end up getting it way easier than just actually trying for it. And one of the few tips that I have right now for the first tip, honestly, just land in mid tier areas. You're not going to want to land hot because then you're not really going to have anyone really with a whole bunch of shields and stuff shields are going to be your biggest thing for damage and if you just land hot and you kill everyone off spawn you can get 10 kills but if everyone has no shield no gun or anything you're only going to have a thousand damage by the end of those 10 kills so you're really not going to be able to do much when half the lobby is dead you ended up killing them and now you only have a thousand damage and 10 kills and now there's only half the teams left and you're just you're just sitting there basically like you really just messed yourself up you're gonna kind of have to get lucky with these games hopefully not everyone's dying hopefully when you fight people they have better shields but this really is sort of just like a luck game luck 4k badge it's just really all about how the game just plays out you can get really lucky or you're just gonna get super unlucky and you're just gonna have to go into the next game but don't be discouraged by it because eventually you are going to get it if you just follow these tips. The second tip that I have for you guys is to try and have your team not shoot as much. I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory because, I mean, if your sh teammates are shooting people, you're not getting the damage that they're getting because they're shooting the people that you're about to be shooting. So obviously, if you have a team, it's going to be a lot easier. Just have them not shoot as many people. Have them help out whenever they can. But you're going to want to get the majority of the damage because that's what you're going to have to do to get a 4k badge. I've only gotten my fair share of 4k badges. I've gotten like three or four and I've gotten them all basically playing solo. I've gotten them all basically playing solo because when I have random teammates, they're not like as good. So I'm usually just ahead of them and I just get basically all the damage that I can. And then that's how I end up getting my 4k badges that I usually get on the characters that I have. So that tip is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it's just simple. Don't have your teammates shoot. You'll get more damage. The next tip that I have for you guys is to use weapons that you're obviously good with, but use weapons that are at a longer range that you can shoot people from really far away and you can get like that big burst damage at the beginning because the more damage that you do, at longer ranges the more they'll have time to shield up and then they'll just peek you again and then you'll be able to get more damage off of that one person say if you crack a guy you get him down to 50 health and you let him shield back up that's another 100 damage that you could possibly do to that guy and if he has red evil that's another 125 damage that you could do to this guy so it just becomes a lot easier when you just have farther range weapons say like an r301 a longbow a hemlock just weapons like that those are going to be your main weapons that you can do you can even do a wingman it's going to be a little bit harder to hit your shots but you're going to get that big like 47 damage from just one shot so all you got to do is land one shot and you're already at 47 damage and you can just keep re-peaking shots have them peek out just it'll be a lot easier with farther range weapons because if you have a prowler you're not going to really be able to do much farther away you'll be able to do more damage up close but that's not really what you're going for you're going to need consistent damage you're going to need damage from the same enemy a bunch of times and that's why you got to use farther range weapon the next tip that i have for you guys is to really just take every shot i mean you're not gonna lose anything if you are afraid to shoot at someone that's farther away you're just gonna mess up your own chances of actually getting damage because you could hit a guy for like a hundred damage for with a longbow but if you don't take the shot you never know if you're really gonna hit that damage or not so just really just take every single shot that you can 
anyone that you see just go and shoot them like it doesn't matter if there's a bunch of people around just go shoot them and you're gonna get at least some damage off and if anything they will push you and instead of the other team you'll be able to get that damage and the other team will slowly be coming in you got to be kind of good with third parties you got to shoot fast loot fast make sure that you're going to stay alive because if you're just going really slow this 4k damage badge is going to be probably really tough it already is kind of tough but you just gotta try and loot faster and just try and fight that third party off like really really quickly because every single team that you fight is going to be a bunch of damage you could get a whole lot of damage from just one team if you play it right but you don't want fights to last forever because then you're just going to get pushed from behind and then it's going to become more of a problem and then the last tip that i really have for this and it is probably one of the biggest ones it is the biggest free damage type thing ever and that's just finishing downed players if you finish downed enemies that's a hundred extra damage that you can get just from someone that's not even shooting at you i mentioned something similar to this in my other 20 bomb video but this is a completely different thing you're going to want to finish every downed enemy that you see because every downed enemy is going to be a hundred more damage that you're going to get on your damage tracker so say if you run into 10 downed enemies that's going to be a thousand damage that you could just do easily without having anyone shoot at you so just make sure to just thirst everyone just down everyone and just finish them off easy peasy that is probably one of the biggest things that i have ever done to help me in my 4k badge the first ever 4k badge i got i didn't really finish downed enemies i was kind of just going around and just shooting everyone but the next time I got my 4k badge, I probably only got like 13 kills, but I finished so many downed enemies and I just got a whole bunch of damage from that. If your teammate ever sees a downed enemy, let them have them tell you and then you just go over and just finish the downed enemy because it, trust me, it becomes a lot easier when you just actually finish down enemies. But really, that's pretty much it. If you follow all of those tips you're gonna be pretty good to get this 4k badge it is a little bit harder but trust me these are probably the best ways to ever do that and also one final thing this is mainly for crypto players because this is the only thing that works for crypto the damage that you get from your emp drone actually counts towards your damage in game so if you crack a whole team, that's 150 damage that you get just from an EMP drone. And then you'll be able to push in while they're shielding and then get all of that other damage just from them. So that's probably easily almost a thousand damage just from one team. And just doing that with crypto is probably the biggest thing that you could ever do. But that's only for crypto players. All the other characters, don't, they don't really have an ability like that so you're not really going to be able to do anything like that with other characters but crypto players that's a big thing for you but that is pretty much it for this video i hope you guys did enjoy and i hope that you have much success with your 4k badges if you guys did enjoy make sure to leave a sub and a like down below in the video and let me know how much damage you've ever gotten in the game because i know that my highest damage is probably around 4,000 something. I've gotten 5,000 on my friend's account, but those are my like highest damage games. But other than that, I will catch you guys on the next one.